Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about all play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. I keep wanting to say Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney just because I got into the habit of that. When you do something like almost 40 times, you just get kind of used to it. Anyways, in this episode we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I forgot what, to mention what happened last episode. Last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started chasing after Dr. Robotnik. But he shot down our plane and we've crash landed. We don't know where Tails is. We met up with Amy and then she went missing and we don't know where she is. And instead of looking for either of them, we're just going to go mess around for a little bit. An interesting thing to note about the uh, ID card is in the Christmas DLC, at least the 1999 one, there, there were issues where it didn't like spawn in properly because there was a Christmas, Christmas t tree there. This is the level that was so good that Sonic Generations decided to put it in for the Sonic Adventure representation. Sonic Generations is also a very good Sonic game. For those who haven't played it, uh, I highly suggest you do. Also, keep running into speed shoes. But yeah, this level is good in that game, and it's good in this game as well. One of my favorite parts about this level is that you can grab onto the bottoms of helicopters and ride them around the city. You can't control where the helicopter goes, it just goes to the next helicopter pad. I don't know how I missed that checkpoint. But yeah, this place has got awesome music and awesome atmosphere, awesome mechanics. It's just all around awesome. I don't know why I remember this, but, uh... I... No! I, I, I swear, usually I am much better at this game than I am right now. It's just that... When I'm trying to commentate and I start thinking about so stuff, my brain just... Stops all my motor functions, I guess. I have a lot of memories that... I want to share with you guys, like, as I start to, you know, remember stuff, I'll share it with you guys, because my memory's not very good, but, like, sometimes just memories get triggered by stuff. part is so cool. Just running down the side of a building is just... Uh, it's just... Running in parts where you're not supposed to go, like, where it shouldn't be phys physically possible to run, like, down the sides of buildings and, like, across water and stuff like that, is why I love speedster characters. They're just so cool to watch. Anyways, now we're in the daytime portion of this level. I remember one time in elementary school, there's this one kid who, I don't know why, but he desperately tried to convince me that the bottom half of a Pokeball was blue. Like, it's clearly not, but he just, like, with all of his might, just kept trying to convince me that the bottom half of a Pokeball was blue. It's weird. Anyways, now that we're done with this level, maybe it's time to start hunting for Amy. Sounds like we're gonna kill her. No, we're just gonna search for her. Yeah, not bad. Anyways, this is this section over here by the uh, sewer. Uh, this building over here is the ending of Speed Highway. And this actually... Uh, is the perfect area for me to talk about this next point. Uh, a lot of the dialogue in Sonic Adventure is really good. Not like it's 
well written. Okay, how do I phrase this? It's not like it's gonna be tugging at your heartstrings and like stuff like that, but a lot of these NPCs that don't really matter actually have some good dialogue, like girl with pink hair. Hmm, I'm not really sure, so I probably shouldn't say anything. Okay, maybe not the best example, but there are tons of characters around here which have little stories going on and are just doing their own thing. Like, uh, this lady over here. Uh, she's in this burger shop right now, but if but you can actually see her at different points in the game. Like, standing outside of the burger shop, like standing over here during the, over in this like bench area, or like maybe over here. I don't, I don't know the exact spots, but you can visit her throughout the game, and her whole plot point is that she has a crush on this burger guy right here, and so he, she's slowly working up her courage to go inside of the burger shop and talk to him. Okay, I'm, I'm going in again. Now what? I managed to get this far, but now what? And then we talk to this burger guy. Hi, sir. No matter who's staring at me, I have to do my job. <laughs> so yeah, just stuff like that. Just these little, like, stories that are going around, going on throughout Station Square. So, if you're gonna play through Sonic Adventure, I'd suggest uh, talking to some of the NPCs. Like, let's see what this guy has to say. See, the trains are on strike, so I don't have to go to work. <laughs> I have so much time to spare now. Ha 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 ha! And if you return to this guy later when the trains are working again, they'll be like, "Ah, oh, I have to go to go do my job again." And they also provide an in-universe reason as to why you can't use the train to go to Mystic, go to the Mystic Ruins, because if you did, that would that would ruin some parts of the story. We're sorry for any problems. You're having problems, right? Sorry. <laughs> this game is just well written. Finally, we've got a chance to talk everything out. I hope two sides just don't make a lot of plans. We're willing to compromise a little. So you can talk to them at different points, like after your plane crashes. You can talk to them and they're just like, oh, we're on strike and stuff like that. Let's see what this little girl has to say. Hope the train start up again soon. I know my dad wants to come home as soon as he can. I'm sure if you talk to her again later, she'll probably be reunited with her father. Amy? Oh man, where can she be? I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! It's time to chase him down. To Mystic Ruins. Let me go, you hump the jump! I mean it! Hey there, bull brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Hey, what's happening here? So now we're going to be tracking down the egg carrier. This will also lead us to our next, uh, not upgrade, but our next item, I guess? I don't know. I'll probably come up with a better word in editing, so I'll put it up on screen. The Ancient Light. This is the Ancient Light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. So now we can light speed dash enemies. Ready? Like this monkey right here. 
and that opens up to the next level. But before we go in, also hide to call. Well, it's not now, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, earlier I was talking about Ice Cap Zone, and if we head over here, we have the altar for the Master Emerald. So yeah, this actually is Angel Island. It's just, it's just fallen down again. And I think that's because a part of, yeah, you can see right here, a part of the Master Emerald is missing. Which will explain why Knuckles was, you know, worried about the Chaos Emeralds and stuff like that earlier when we fought him. But like I said before, we'll learn more about that when we go through Knuckles' story. Anyways, stage number 10, I think? 7, okay. I've been through less of this game than I thought. <laughs> Chase the Egg Carrier. I could gush about this game's soundtrack for hours, so I'll go ahead and stop that right here and just say, go listen to the soundtrack. It is amazing. So this level is a sort of volcano level, which when I think of Sonic and volcanoes, it reminds me of, I believe the name was Lava Reef Zone from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And I just loved how, like, at the very end, you saw, like, the the death egg and how menacing it was, like, hung up in the sky like that, and then, you know, you go into fight Knuckles and stuff like that. I could, you know, just gush all day about, like, the Sonic games that I love, but I'll spare you guys for now. I originally wasn't too big of a fan of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, because I thought it was just long and... Getting the Chaos Emeralds was tedious, but I played. But once I played the uh, Sonic Origins re-release, I started enjoying the game a lot more. Which I don't know how unpopular of opinion that is, but it's just without lives and you know the ability to retry special stages and stuff like that, just made the game a lot more fun for me. Which just kind of goes to show, at least for me, how lives aren't something that I'm too big of a fan of in games. Now we're inside of the volcano, and I promised I wouldn't gush about the soundtrack, so... I like this part, though, where you're sort of running along the wall. I don't know how I saved myself from that, but it looked cool anyway. You're probably supposed to use the light speed dash attack during that, but I find my own solutions. That's not how the camera was supposed to work. Speaking of cameras, I usually don't have too much of a problem with cameras and games. Like, I've heard a lot of people talk about how they hated the camera in late 90s 3D games like Sonic Adventure and Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, and I've just never had too much of, of a problem with them. Like, I just sort of go where the game ex Okay, that was my fault. I just sort of go where the game just kind of expects me to go. I probably should explore games more, but... I've, I've just never really had too much of a problem with cameras in games. Maybe I just need to play more games, though. I usually am able to jump over that. Also, the uh, prisoners in here look like uh, characters from Super Paper Mario. Uh, I'll put up the ones on screen that I'm talking about. But... <laughs> That reminds me of the prisoners of the prisoners thing. Uh, 
reminds me of this video I was watching that was detailing all the differences between Sonic Adventure and the DX port, which I linked to in the first episode. And there was one part where it was like a mission, and the mission name was like, A Fugitive from the Pits of Hell of Escaped Find the Fugitive, or something like that. <laughs> and it's like so hardcore that it's almost silly. I hate these weird spider things, because they're just big and gross, and I don't like them. I also love how Sonic's, Sonic's like eyes and head like follow this like parrot animal sometimes, or this parrot creature. Yeah, it's Sky Chase Act 2. Uh, interesting trivia, though, is that originally, I don't know if it was for Act 1 or Act 2, but originally there was supposed to be a two-headed dragon boss fight, which sounds super sick. Not to sound like a teenager from the 90s, but that sounds rad. I wish we had gotten something like that. But yeah, we just kind of go through this, and I think this section is like twice as long as the previous one. I'll go ahead and put up on screen how long this is compared to the the original Sky Chase. But while we're just kind of waiting here, I'll just, you know, talk. Because that's kind of my job. I don't know why I'm reinforcing that. One memory I have from when I was a child was that... I remember having this nightmare of, you know that one episode of Spongebob where it ends with the, it had this weird ending where it was like, for some reason, like, it was the one where I think they were trying to get Spongebob to come out of his house, and then uh, they had Patrick, or, I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Now we're in our new battle mode, I guess, is the best way to describe it. It probably has an official name, so I'll put that up on the screen. But yeah, the Spongebob episode I was talking about, it ended with Sandy having Patrick dress up in a gorilla suit to scare Spongebob. And then, when, and then, uh, you know, he came up in the suit and I was like, oh, I'm going to attack Sandy. And then Patrick came up. And then it was like, who's in the gorilla suit? And then Patrick was like, I am in the gorilla suit. And then it was like, who's that over there? And, and then like a gorilla was wearing a Patrick suit. Anyways, I had a nightmare about that when I was young where like, I don't know, it was like a horror movie. I like couldn't move. I was in my living room and it was late at night. And I just looked out my window and the monkey was like slowly approaching. And like I would pull the curtains over the window, and then I'd look, and it, it and it was like slightly closer, and then I would keep doing that over and over until it was like right up against the glass. And I don't know why that scared me when I was when I was so young, but yeah. Now we can actually attack the egg carrier. Whenever it opens up like that, you have to shoot at it, and then get out of the way as it's shooting that huge death beam. Sometimes I've been able to. Uh, kill the egg carrier in one go. 
There we go. Took me two rounds, but, you know, I'm still alive and kicking, so that's good. have to go and save Amy in the next episode. I know that <laughs> we keep ending off before we go to search for Amy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go find Amy, and hopefully we'll actually find her this time and not spend another couple episodes looking for her. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!